Good morning all of you. Today we will perform experiment 7 to implement PAM modulator and demodulator. The aim of the experiment is to implement single channel pulse amplitude modulator and demodulator dual channel PAM or TDM transmitter receiver by using Amuna Telecom Strainer 101 kit and analyze its performance by passing this signal these are the apparatus required to perform this experiment pulse modulation is used to transmit analog information in this system continuous wave from are sampled at regular interval information regarding the signal is transmitted only at the sample time together with syncing signal at the receiver end the original waveform may be reconstructed from the information regarding the samples. PAM is the simplest form of the pulse modulation. PAM is a pulse modulation system in which the signal is sampled at regular interval and each sample is made proportional to the amplitude of the signal at the instant of sampling. There are two types of PAM signal is there. One is double polarity PAM and second one is the single polarity PAM. In single polarity PAM, a fixed DC level is added to the signal to ensure that the pulse are always positive. Instantaneous PAM sampling occur if the pulse used in the modulator are infinitely short. Natural PAM sampling occur when finite weak pulse are used in the modulator but the top of the pulse are forced to follow the modulating waveform. The flat top sampling is a system quite often used because of the case gathering of modulating wave. This is the a example message signal corresponding carrier and PAM signal. This is the block diagram for generating PAM signal. This is the block diagram for time division multiplexing with PAM signal. At the receiver, the sample from individual channel are separate. Now we will discuss about how we can demodulate a signal. At the receiver, the samples from individual channel are separated by carefully synchronizing the sample from each channel are filtered to produce the original message signal. There are two levels of synchronization. Same synchronization is necessary to establish when each group of samples being and what synchronization is necessary for openly separate the sample samples within this band. This is the block diagram for multiplexing and demodulating PAM or TDM signal to recover the message signal. This is the connection diagram for generating the PAM signal using telecom trainer on 01. This is the connection diagram for time division multiplexing with PAM signal. This is the connection diagram for demultiplexing and demodulating the PAM signal to recover the message. These are the required precautions. These are the steps which help us to generate pulse amplitude modulated signal. These are the steps for time duration multiplexing with PAM signal. These are the few steps for demodulating the message signal or recover the message signal from PAM signal. These are the some questions for discussions. These are the some examples result for different type of PAM signal, TDM and PAM signal, then demultiplexing and modulating the PAM TDM. Thank you all. So next experiment is to implement single channel PM modulator or demodulator, dual channel PM or TDM transmitter and receiver by using Imona Telecom Trainer Kit and analyze its performance by passing speech signal by passing sinusoidal signals and then okay so there are three parts so first one is so generating a set of uh, generating a pulse amplitude modulation signals this is the block diagram and the, this is the connection diagram time division multiplexing with pm signals this is the block diagram and this is the connection diagram the third one 
demultiplexing and demodulating the PM or TDM signal to recover the message. Uh, this is the block diagram. And then this is the connection diagram. Okay. Finally, so first you see a two kilohertz signal is given to the input of a dual analog switch and 8 kilohertz digital 8 kilohertz digital is given through clock in the twin, twin pulse generator um, to the control A 2 kilohertz signals to input Eight kilowatt digital. First, first, we will check the output of this clock signal. <coughs> See. This is the clock signals. Okay. Now connect that Q1 to control one. The output will see through the channel two. So this is channel 1 You see, the pulse amplitude modulation signal, okay. So, next stage, next stage, time division multiplexing with PM signals, block diagram. And this is the connection diagram. You see in the connection diagram, a 2 kilohertz already is given to input 1 and uh, this 8 kilohertz through clock, it is given to control 1. We will gi we'll give another 2 kilohertz signals to the input 2. and q2 signals to the control okay now see the output
ओके सो दिस इज टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग विथ पी एम सिग्नल्स टू इम्पल्स जनरेटर दिस इज द विथ Okay, you adjust some make make an adjustment this width control in the twin pulse generator. Okay, so this is time division multiplexing with a PM signal. Demultiplexing and demodulating the PM or TDM signals to recover the message. Uh, this is the block diagram, and uh, this is your connection diagram. so we will connect accordingly for demultiplexing and demodulating for demultiplexing part you just connect as in the previous one 2 kilohertz to input 1 then again 2 kilohertz signal to input 2 in, in 8 kilohertz to clock then the output q1 to control 1 this q2 to control 2 then this is the the output so this is this is this is the part of demultiplexing so we will demodulate it for demodulating so you give the output of this dual analog switch to one input of multiplier so the another input of multiplier will connect it to to the q1 the output of multiplier will connect it to to enable low pass filter input and output we'll see to channel 2 you have to adjust this gain and fc frequency adjust control you know to get the output
so this is channel 2 and this is this is the output of this is PMR D, uh, TDM output and this is the input okay so that's all thank you